Welcome to the southern part of Africa, a home that was once peaceful before the late 1500s, where only the natural sounds of nature worked together to create harmonies of peace. Abogogo Nabomkul, the true ancestors of Africa, scattered throughout this land, moving freely, living organically and peacefully. On the peripheries of the homestead, you see elders surveilling their home. Ikayalabo, elakeyibo, nyezandlazabo. Uzo abogoko nabumkulu, sharing the rich stories of African ancestors and histories which hark into the foundations of their being. South Africans live unbothered, at peace and content. However, on the other tip of the world, there exists a different species that is brewing a plan of terrorism, a plan to conquer the same land and its ancestors. They have done it to others around the world, even those across the seas. They have perfected their barbaric acts. Hastily walking their cold environment, coldness, rigidity, and emptiness fills their air and their actions as they march back and forth. Built up is a colossal structure that spews a black gas-like substance that intrudes the once pure air. They plot to intrude the peace of African land as they pack their bags, board their ships and gear up for a lifetime trip to the southern tip of Africa. They arrive and they begin the intrusion of proclaiming, founding, seizing, tracking through land that is not theirs. Let us call these species hmm, colonizers. In declaring the Princess Elizabeth Graving Dock open. Time has passed and their alien ways of doing things have occupied every millimeter of once free land. The mining industry, the feeding ground for what they call the economy. They subject the black mind and body to the labor of excavating once intact home ground, destroying the balance of life South and existence. Africa's prosperity. Annual production, more than 200 million pounds. To the great mines of the Rand, an army of colored workers is vital today, as it has been for many years, since the gold was discovered in the country 97 years ago. One of their many savage disturbances of using the black identity for their own primitive pleasure, something they have mastered from times of slavery. Meet George, who does not stop consuming chocolate. Brown, rich chocolate that does not belong in his body, but for some strange, unapparent reason, he consumes more and more. His presence is highly destructive and dismissive. He crushes and mows down all that is in his way. Remind you of someone? <laughs> The colonizer. How fascinating. It starts from a young age, doesn't it? Now, we sit here. Sit up straight. Talk a language. Ugukuluma gungila tlegel. Angisagwazi ugukuluma. I am sitting here, constricted by this intrusive suffocating strap across my neck. Nyafun. Emptiness. Lost. 